I did my Google presentation on Google VR. What is virtual reality? VR is the computer-generated simulation of 3D images or environments that can be interacted with in a seemingly real or physical way by a person using special electronic equipment. Spawning from the 20% project, where Google allows their employees to work on side projects, is the Google Cardboard, as seen below. This is an affordable virtual reality headset made out of cardboard. It's meant to be used with your phone and is easy to use and affordable. It contains lenses that, when used with compatible apps, create a 3D effect with your own smartphone. Here you can see it opened and not put together yet. And all you have to do is fold it together and place your phone in the front. Some cool features include the NFC chip inside of the headset that launches official apps when a phone is placed in it. A magnet on the side that uses the phone's magnetometer to sense commands and control the phone while it is inside the headset. All you have to do is slide it down and it triggers commands on the phone. The software involved in this headset is most important. Google Cardboard apps turn your phone into a VR compatible device. When, launches in a, when launching an official application, the phone is split into two, one for each eye. Some distortion is added, and with the lenses built into the cardboard headset, the images on the screen fill up your range of view and surround you in whatever digital world you download. And the best part about this VR headset is the price. It could be ordered on Amazon or other websites for only $15. After creating the innovative cardboard, Google went on to create a VR headset with a better quality design and a higher price tag. They still kept their device fairly affordable, but instead of a cardboard headset, they used soft fabric and a cleaner design. This resulted in a much nicer and clean looking headset. They called it the Daydream. Think of this headset as a much higher quality version of the Google Cardboard. This headset still requires the users to put their smartphone in the front and can use the same apps as the cardboard. But at a price of $79, you are getting a much higher quality headset with additional features that allow this device to access apps with much better controls. This is due to the controller that is included. What stands out with this VR headset is that it includes a remote that, use, that users can use to interact with their apps. This remote has a clickable trackpad on top and two more buttons below. It often use, they often use it to bring up menus. This can be used in various games like a virtual arm or a gun to shoot. And here I have a short video of the daydream in action. enabling very high quality mobile VR. At the core of Daydream are what we call Daydream ready phones. And so we've actually worked with smartphone manufacturers to really understand what sensors and displays and processors you need to have to make a smartphone amazing for mobile virtual reality. And then we've been working with the Android team in as part of their newest release, Android N, to build what we call VR mode into the core of Android. We've also been working on building a very comfortable VR viewer, VR headset, and paired with that, we'll have a controller that is really powerful, really expressive, but also really intuitive, something that any normal person can pick up and immediately get how to use. And Daydream is really the experience across all these things, great phones, a comfortable VR viewer, and a controller that lets you take really high performance, really high quality mobile VR and have it across Google Teams. VR is becoming a major trend in the tech industry. Many companies are creating their own innovative headsets that are being used with phones or computers. As time goes on, companies like Google will continue to innovate in this field and bring us more advanced pieces of virtual reality hardware and software.